As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten lepers met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voice, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go show yourselves to the priests. As they were going, their way cleansed. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned glorifying God in a loud voice, and he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has not but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. This is important gospel for me and for my spiritual family, Franciscans of Mary. We can see in this gospel how just one person come back to Jesus and say thank you. The other nine don't enter in this way of the gratitude, thanksgiving. We have many elements in this gospel for our a spiritual life for our Christian and Catholic life. The first one, faith. The ten lepers, they have faith. They say to Jesus, Master, they believe in him and they believe in his power for remove leper from their lives. They have faith. And the second, they have obedience because they follow the instruction of Jesus Christ. They are going to the priests. But in this moment, enter the ungratitude. They receive a miracle and they continue their life. And they forget Jesus Christ. They forget that he cleans from the leper. He gives a new life for them. In that time, if you have a leper, you live outside the down outside your family. When you recover health, you come back again the new life. And they forget that. And don't come and say thank you. Just one. The ten percent understand that the first manifestation of the love to God is gratitude. This is the first manifestation. You receive love from God. You receive new life, new opportunities. You receive everything from God. And you say, thank you, Lord. But the 90% forget that. Today, the Lord invites us to rediscover the first manifestation of the love in our relationship with him. And this first manifestation is gratitude. Thanksgiving, everything that we receive from God is necessary to come back to him in thanksgiving way. And we have other two important elements in this gospel. The first one, this Samaritan recognized the miracle and recognized that Jesus is his savior. He recognized that Jesus is his Lord. We need to recognize that. How many times we receive miracles in our life? For example, when you come and confess your sins in the sacrament of penance, it's a miracle. The Lord purify your soul. The Lord remove from you the leper of your sins. And you start again, new life, new beginning. It's a miracle. How many times we contemplate the miracle of the Eucharist? It's the most beautiful and great miracle that we can contemplate. Jesus 
enter in our history one more time and manifest to us his love and appear under the species of the, the bread and wine. It's a miracle. Day by day, we need to recognize in Jesus Christ, the Lord, recognizing him, our God. And the last one, or the second point, witness. This Samaritan leper, or ex-leper, go to announce to others that he received new life. He to announce to other ones that Jesus can transform their lives. And we need to put into practice this. We are witness of the love of Jesus Christ in this world. We need to announce the good news to other ones. We receive new life. We need to announce to others that it is possible for them to, if they come back to God, if they come back to Jesus Christ. Let us ask to the Lord that remove from our soul the leper of our sins, cleanse our heart, and teach us to be grateful people, to recognize that everything is grace, everything is from God. Let us pray in silence.